Jonathan with Iron Mind Hypnosis here. I want to say just a, a few things about stress. The, the literature on stress goes back for a very long time, uh, over 100 years at this point. And it, it describes how, how detrimental stress is for our health and, and our, our way of being. Now, a lot of people find this depressing because they look at their lives and there is nothing that they can really do to get out of stress. They, they have the life they live, they've chosen the life they live based on, on their family, based on the job they felt called to or that they needed for some reason. And they feel stuck when they're told you need to eliminate stress because they can't just eliminate maybe their children or, or their spouse or their job because that's an integral part of their life. So a lot of times the advice, reduce your stress, just stresses people out. Now, sure, there are, are techniques to, to help reduce the stress, breathing techniques, meditation, all these sorts of things that you can do. And they are wonderful. And they're useful. But there's something else that that old, old research, the old literature, doesn't include, doesn't talk about. And it's the, the realization, and it's been studied fairly well, but only more recently, that if you know why you are in a stressful situation, why you've chosen, why it's important to you that you're in a life with a, say, a toddler <laughs> or a, some other child, why it is that you are engaged in your stressful situation, whether it's, it's the job, why did you pick this job? What about your stressful life was important for you? Is it the paycheck? Okay, well, to go a step deeper then, why is that paycheck important? Is it the position? Why is that position important? What's, what does that allow you to do? Uh, is, is it the way in which you serve people? Is it the, the, the quality and type of challenge that uh, you needed something that was a worthy challenge for you? Whatever it is for you, if you get in contact with, with why you're doing that, your body actually produces protective hormones that protect you from the negative effects of stress. And stress no longer, in those cases, has a negative health impact. It just cuts the negative health impact completely out. And you benefit from, from the stress response rather than being, being uh, put down by it in any way. Another thing that is, is very useful in, in situations where, where things are high stress is the way you, way you interact with people, the way you, you take care of other people. If you're in a stressful, hard, maybe even emotional job uh, or other situation, and you use your time to reach out to other people, uh, to, to do nice things for them, you, you care and befriend other people with, with your stress response, again, it sends out a, a different set of, of protective hormones that, again, totally protect you from the negative impact of stress. So if you're living a life where, where you don't know how to get rid of the stress, or you don't know how to get rid of it in, in a way that works for you and your schedule, don't worry. There are things that you can do that take very little or, or next to no time that completely change your physiological reaction to stress. And they can be as simple as knowing why you're putting yourself through this stress. Because if there's a reason you're putting yourself through the stress, then it's probably worth it. There's, you're probably made this decision with some level of awareness. 
There's some reason you're sticking around. And also things you do to help other people, other people in the same situation particularly, but any, any other people that you're helping, that kind of connection makes, makes the stress a benefit to you. It, it allows your, your body to connect with why it will produce the hormones that protect you. And it allows you to benefit from the strength of, of the stress hormones. So it only makes you stronger. I hope this is of use to you. Have a wonderful day. Take care.